In the last two videos, we took a look at some of the various tools found in Grossbeat's option menu. In this video, we're going to take a look at perhaps one of the more creative tools in Grossbeat, the Create Sequence tool. This tool provides you with an intuitive interface that can help you create time and volume alteration patterns with ease. To access the Sequence Creation tool, simply select it from the Grossbeat option menu. A new window will appear that contains the sequence editor, as well as the default loaded pattern. Along the top of the window is the step editor. Each block represents one step in the editor. As you can see in the editor window, each step consists of a rise and fall of a curve. By default, these are steps already entered with their default shape. We will take a look at adjusting curves in a minute. As there are already some steps placed in the editor by default. Let's take a look first at removing steps. To do this, simply right click on the step. Notice in Grossbeat's editor, you can see the removal of the step. To add a new step to the step editor, click on the desired step. So next, let's take a look at how to adjust the shape of the curve. To the right of the window, you have five parameters, and here we're going to take a look at the four parameters that primarily control the shape of the envelope. These parameters are the attack, decay, sustain, and gate. The attack parameter will control how fast the envelope will rise from the bottom to its peak. Raising this value will create a slower slope in the start of the envelope. The decay parameter will dictate how long the slope will be from the peak level to the sustain level. Larger values here will create a longer slope. The sustain parameter will control the actual level of the sustain. The gate parameter will control the length of the slope from the sustain level to the infinity level of the curve. Using all four parameters allows you to create with ease your envelope curve. I should point out that these four parameters are applied to all steps that have been activated in the step editor. So if you have multiple curve envelopes, then all envelopes will have these parameters applied to them. By clicking on a step that is already active, you can change some of the default shapes to that curve. Clicking two times will produce a curve that has its own set gate value, which stays open till the start of the next step, even if the next step has not been activated in the editor. Clicking a third time will create a curve where the decay, sustain, and gate values are ignored. The decay will fall from the peak value to the start of the next step. You may have noticed that the white bars that indicate an active step are now longer with each click, indicating the type of curve that is applied to that step. Lastly, the swing parameter will apply some variations to each of the envelopes so that they are not all exactly the same, resulting in a less robotic sound. When you have a curve pattern that you are happy with, click the accept button to apply the changes, or you can simply close the window if you wish to leave the tool without applying the changes.
So, in this video, we started our look at the Create Sequence tool in Growspeed. We learned how to add and remove step points in its step editor. We also looked at the common tools to control the shape of the curves created by the steps. In the next video, we'll continue our look at the Create Sequence tool and some more of the advanced controls. Thank you.